What's up, everybody? Big Ox Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. So check it out, man. We're gonna go with this PlayStation Five UI. Why to me, it's annoying as hell. Now you see on the PlayStation Four right now, it's pretty much everything is almost one click away. The PlayStation Five is not like that, and it annoys the hell out of me. So let me turn on my PS Five right now. It's in rest mode and. Everybody freaking out. Don't put in rest mode. Don't put in rest mode. I had the, the system for about a week now. And I had had no issues. Um, except one. And that was Call of Duty. And also, do not put your external hard drive right when you're about to um, plug in the PS5. Because most of my games did not freaking um, work on my external hard drives. So I had to delete and reinstall them. Which 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 wasn't a big deal at all, but other than that, the PS Five is freaking great. So let's turn this turn turn this mofo on and wait for it, um TV to change. But other than that, the the PS Five is awesome. I really don't have any issues. But the the stupid UI, it's freaking ridiculous. So let's hop into it real quick. All right. I have Spider-Man on. So let's exit out this real quick. Back to home. You know, let's just say you want to check out a freaking update on a game and stuff. The only way for you to do that, you have to be at the main home to check for update. You go to your libraries on here, your collection. Doesn't show it at all. Play, manage content, delete information. Any of any of these that you installed doesn't work. Doesn't does it have check for update? Well, right now we'll go to the PS4. All right. Some of my games are on my P majority of my games are on my PS5 and stuff. So you'll see the little icons on each game that's like, oh, you can't play it. You can't play here. Now, square, uh, share factory, square factory. <laughs> you can see check for update. You go to your library and such. I got applications right here. You see, check for update. Check for update. That is the main issue I have with my PlayStation 5. That you can't freaking check each game like you know what this game might need an update let me check it because i have a crap ton of games crap ton of games on my ps5 shit ton and also the demos that you have is like installed on your system it's not gonna work it did not work for me at all and it, it pissed me off just a little bit but i was like okay i could deal with that no big deal but PS5, as you can see, nothing, nothing for checking the update. So that means I have to freaking put the disc in and go to the home screen and check for that freaking update. That is ridiculous. Unless you're digital, you can just click on it and freaking start the mofo and be like, oh, oh, check for update, simple as that. But I'm a physical guy. And also, let's just say, um, what the heck? Let's just say um, you download the Spider-Man Remastered. Make sure you have the PS5 version. I'll give you an example. You see that right there, the three little dots? Make sure you don't have that PS4 version because there'll be two different ones. Let me see a better example. Let's see Call of Duty. Right here. You see? See the difference? Cause if you do if you don't um check that out, you will get the PS4 version. So just give me a heads up. So some stuff is stupid with this UI. Also, everything was so a one one click away on a PS4. Just one click away, man. You you go to do your thing. Your video or something. Freaking example. I don't freaking have YouTube on here. 
But go do sh your your video if you want to do Share Factory like I do. That's why I mostly make my content from. Um, I haven't tried Share Factory on a PS5 yet. But yeah, bam, everything's click away. Unlike the PS4, I mean PS5. You have to freaking go down here, check this stuff right here, all that type of stuff. I do like the music part. It has all my, that's not my stuff right there. It has all my podcasts on here, all my music that I listen to. It's just like a click away. I do like that. That's, excuse me, that's pretty freaking cool. That, that I really do like that. But everything's too much, too much click, uh, too much, too many clicks away. Also, the game base, this is retarded right here. This is stupid. To find your messages, you have to go to game base, then freaking parties. It's freaking stupid. It's really, really ridiculous. Unlike PS4, it's just like two clicks away. To check out your trophies. It's ridiculous. You have to go right here. Click on this crap. Trophies. To find your stuff. Unlike PS4, it's two clicks away. It's just so convoluted. It's, it's not cool. I don't know why. It's like Sony took a freaking step back on this UI. I thought this thing was was amazing. I really do like this, this little part right here. It looks cool, but I don't think they're going to have any type of themes on this PlayStation 5. I really don't think that's going to happen. And it sucks because I really do like, like themes. It creates my profile because I like this theme right here. The rest theme. It looks pretty freaking cool. I really do like it. And now I don't see Sony even doing themes anymore. I really don't. And it sucks. But other than that, that's my only hardcore issue with the um, PlayStation 5 interface. Matter of fact, where in the hell is the freaking game help? I haven't found that crap yet. Unless I'm mistaken. Let me see here. No. Yeah, I don't know where it, where is, where would it be even located at. You can actually add more stuff to it, but I don't see the freaking game help. Unless, tell me in the comments sec, comment section, where's the game help? I really would appreciate it because I have no freaking idea. <laughs> no idea. Also, this controller right here, man. I was wrong. I was wrong about this, this DualSense controller. This controller is actually really good. Um, how can I explain it? This game right here, Astro's Playroom, it shows the actual potential of the DualSense controller. And I was amazed when you're walking on different stuff. So I'm turn off the, turn off the music. When you're walking on on freaking metal, it makes a little freaking ting um rumble inside the controller it's amazing um call of duty the tra triggers on the back of it right here it oh God, best way to explain if you're shooting something this thing will actually um have a little resistance to it same thing when you're aiming as well it will like you, you push down on a l2 button the aiming would be a whole lot slower. It would like feel more realistic and stuff. Demon Souls, every time you swing your sword at an enemy or do a final blow, you'll feel it in the controller. Now, Marvel Spider-Man, it the intro was amazing when he got off got off the bus, but after that, his web swing and fighting everybody, it just felt kind of kind of subtle, kind of low. And I was disappointed in that. But Astro Play Astro's Playroom has potential. This controller has potential. And I'm impressed. 
when I was playing Grand Theft Auto 5, when I was driving around, if I was driving on a, on a freaking curve, you'll feel it on a, on a, each side of the controller. It was amazing. Now, this controller has potential, but I'm afraid of third party people not using it, not utilizing it. And it sucks because let's be real here. Sony has stuff. I made, I made the freaking gimmick video of the control being a gimmick. Sometimes Sony does not use the potential of the controller. They just make it as a, as a regular controller. The joy cons that I have down there, Nintendo switch. It's just a rumble. Everybody was praising the HD factor on it and come to find out it's just a rumble and third party people didn't use it. Hey, honey. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I just hope they'll you lie. You like, oh my gosh, use the freaking dual sense controller. Let's see here. Some of my PS4 games didn't use it. Except I already tried Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Yeah, they they did not use it one bit. Hmm. Even um, everybody's golf. I thought I was gonna use it when you when you swing at the ball. Nope, nothing. And my Xbox just turned on for some odd reason. Hey Google, turn off Xbox. Thank you. Yeah. That was kind of weird because I don't recall me saying Xbox. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, man. Overall, the system's good. It's just this right here is a freaking game changer. The last time I was so, so in love and involved in the game was Ocarina of Time on a Nintendo 64 with the Rumble Pack. When he was walking around and trying to find the, the, the skulls. Like, like skull spiders and stuff to try to collect them, and you feel you felt a rumble by a tree, and you had to drop a bomb right there, and it found a secret. I was so immersed with that game, and I hope Sony and third party people will actually use this. Also, this controller will be usable on Steam, and they might utilize it. I hope so, because. I want this controller to be used at its full potential. I know I'm saying this stuff, same stuff over, over again, but I'm telling you, this controller feels amazing. I'm very impressed and I was wrong. It's just, I don't see third party people using it. I, I really don't. And I really do hope they use it. I really do. But we just have to wait and see because Microsoft didn't use it on the Xbox One as much Nintendo didn't use on Nintendo switch that much so far. Sony has impressed me by that. But other than that, excuse me, I got the freaking hiccups for some odd reason. Um, other than that, man, the system's great. I have no, I really don't have any issues. Um, Demon souls looks pretty. It looks a little bit grainy on my end for some odd reason. I got to change the settings and stuff and in the options, but it looks amazing. Um, Spider-Man looks amazing. Astro Playroom, you guys, that, that, you guys need to try this out. I'm telling you. And also, the battery life, that's the main thing I need to talk about. The battery life, it lasts longer than two hours. Whoever said there, it was freaking two hours was a liar. They were bullshitting because this battery, maybe, I say six Seven hours, if you're playing like a like a hardcore game, yeah, about six seven hours. It's it's longer than a PlayStation Four controller, hands down. But I'm impressed by this controller. But anyway, anyways, I'm rambling on. I'm gonna pretty much play something my Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Also, that's another thing. These backwards compatible games, okay, they load a whole lot faster. I know for a fact, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, 20 seconds loading time. I shit you not. And it actually looks a whole lot better for some odd reason. Even I asked my girlfriend, did it look, 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 look a whole lot better? She's like, yeah, it does. 
and it loaded 26 seconds faster. So that's the reason why I bought this mofo. And most of the most of the games will run better and look look better, in my opinion. But now that's about it, guys. Um, let me know in the, in the comment section below if you have any questions. Uh, I have I have no issue of um, answering them. But this big ox triple six, y'all stay awesome. And yeah, man, I got one more day to work. And three days off. I hope you guys enjoy y'all's um, Thanksgiving in a couple of days. Because I had to work that night. Unfortunately. But that's the that's the thing. Working overnights, man. You gotta, you gotta freaking do what you gotta do. But I think I have a few more moves I need to get. And I will get them soon. I just gotta wait a little bit longer. So, anyways, guys. Y'all have a good one. Wear your mask. Stay awesome. Stay healthy. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. And that was my freaking controller just falling down of the, of the TV. And why are you laughing at me for? <laughs> All right. See you guys. Bye.